Alrighty, welcome to the solutions video for the differentiation of exponential functions. Uh, let's get straight into it. So question one, y equals e to the power of 4x. This is our rule number two. We're just going to say dy dx is equal to 4e to the 4x. Question two, we've got y equals 4e to the power of x on 2. Slightly more tricky this one. First of all, I'm gonna rewrite it as four e to the power of one half of x. So you can see that the coefficient of x is just one half, which means when I do the derivative of y with respect to x, I have four times that half that I bring down times e to the power of one half x, which is gonna simplify down to two e to the x on two or one half x, whatever you prefer. On to question three. Um, this is where we have a function of x. So as per my old, uh, not old, as per my other video where I explain this concept, I'm gonna call this f of x, and I'm going to therefore find the derivative of that, which I'll call f dash x, uh, and that's gonna equal three. So now I know that I'm just gonna multiply the derivative by the original function. So I have dy dx equals two times three, in fact, I'll even color code that for you guys. Two times three times e to the power of three x plus one. Tidy that up by multiplying the two and the three together to get six e to the three x plus one. Nice, okay, on to question four. We're gonna do similar. We're going to say x cubed plus two x squared is our function of x. So I'm gonna call that f of x. And therefore the derivative of that is going to be 3x squared plus 4x, the two times two. So I've got dy dx is equal to 3x squared plus 4x, the derivative, times by e to the original x cubed plus 2x squared. All right, and question five for you. Hopefully you're doing well up to this part. If you are, make sure you like the video, spread the awareness of how to maths. We have a tip here, recall the product rule. So I hope you recalled the product rule. If you didn't, I hope you looked it up and had a go at it. The product rule says, if I have uh, some function of x times another function of x, we'll call it g of x, and we wanna find the derivatives, um, it's going to be, f dash x times g of x. I'm gonna run out of room, so I'll just drag this down a bit. Plus f of x times g dash x. So essentially we're taking turns with which one's gonna be the derivative and timesing them together. Okay, so uh, I don't usually use that notation, so I had to <laughs> recall that, but let's have a look here. So we've got function one, this is the notation I usually use. I'll call this u, and in red or pink here, I'm gonna call this function v, okay? So the notation that I usually use, if we've got, let me, I'll, I'll keep this one here, I'll rewrite it as u times v. It's gonna be du dx times v plus u times dv dx. Either one, whatever you like. Uh, right, so we're gonna have to have, if I've got u equals two x, then du dx, the derivative is just two. And if I have v equals e to the power of x squared minus three x, I have dv dx is equal to, now this is where we're gonna derive this exponential. It's similar to the one above, so I'm gonna skip the chain rule part and just go straight to the answer which is gonna be two x minus three multiplied by the original x squared minus three x. And now I substitute them into my product rule. So I get dy dx is gonna be equal. I've written over here, I'm gonna annotate here, du dx, which is our two times by v, which is our exponential here. So the answer is going to be two, times e to the power of x squared minus three x. That's our first part. Then we also have plus u times, and our u is two x. 
So it's gonna be plus this 2x times dv dx, which is this entire thing here. So we get plus 2x times 2x minus three times e to the power of x squared minus three x. Now I'd like to tidy this up. So I'm gonna use some of this extra working out paper on page two. I'm gonna duplicate this here just so we can stay focused on the one page. So this is where I got up to. What I'm noticing is that I have an e to the x squared minus three x and an e to the x squared minus three x in both terms of my expression or my equation. So I can factorize that out. This is gonna simplify a bit. So the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to e to the power of, in fact, in both of these terms, I also have a, a two that I'm multiplying by. So I'm also gonna factorize out the two. So before the e, I'm gonna write two e to the x squared minus three x and that's gonna be multiplied by each term. So what do we have to multiply 2e to the x squared minus three x to get, well, itself? That's nice and easy, the answer is one. And then I've got to think, what do I times 2e to the x squared minus three x, which is this uh, two, and this is this, it's x times two x minus three. So plus, it's a plus because of this plus here, that drags down, so we have x times 2x minus three, which we can simplify as well. So dy dx is two e to the x squared minus three x times by one plus two x squared minus three x. Make sure you uh, are multiplying the x by both of these terms inside the brackets. And we can, I guess this is just being pedantic. I'm gonna duplicate because I'm gonna tidy it up one little bit more and just rearrange the inside of this bracket because typically we like to write it with the highest power or highest order first. So I'm gonna have two X squared, then minus three X and then plus one. And there it is. It's a lot of steps. Uh, if you got to this section here, where you've just done the product rule and you've substituted in the right derivatives into the rule, consider that a win. Uh, if you've managed to make it all the way to this full simplification, give yourself an extra thumbs up. Hope that video helped. Uh, if it did, make sure you click on the video up here. It's gonna be another one of my YouTube math videos uh, that I've recommended that's gonna align with this and the video down below is gonna be a YouTube recommendation. Thanks for watching, see you next time.